Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video you're going to learn how to play Lonesome Whistle Blues as recorded by Freddie King on guitar. Now this song is a 12 bar blues in the key of C, and it's got such a great swinging feel. Now we're going to kick it off with that opening riff that is basically the vocal part that I arranged for guitar. It's a really cool riff that moves through our 12 bar blues chord progression. Then after that we're going to dive into the rhythm for the rest of the song and we're going to break down how you can comp this 12 bar blues. Before we jump in though, if you're new here and haven't downloaded my fretboard guide yet, you're going to want to grab this at the first link down below and it's actually going to tie in with all of the chords that we are learning in today's video and it's going to show you the five must know chords and scales and how to connect them on the fretboard. So grab your copy completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. All right, well with that said, let's dive into this song. Let's break down how to play Lonesome Whistle Blues as recorded by Freddie King on guitar. Now this song is a blues in the key of C. It's a 12 bar blues form. And I'm gonna show you the main rhythm part throughout. I'm also going to show you this really cool vocal interlude that I arranged for guitar so you can play this over the changes. Let's start off with that and then we'll break down the rhythm as well. Here's what that vocal interlude sounds like. One, two, three, four. All right, so this is a guitar part basically of those oohs you hear at the top of the track. Now underneath is the rhythm, but this riff basically goes through your 12 bar blues. So I'm starting off with just these two note figures here. I'm playing the eighth fret on the third string and then the 11th fret on the second string. So they're right on adjacent strings there. And I actually slide into it from one fret below. So I've got this shape and then I'm moving it up. So it's going to start on 710 and then move up to 811 like this. And it's just a whole note. It goes right on the downbeat like one, two, three, four. And then we're going to go. Okay, so that's the same thing again, sliding in, but then we drop it down to seven and 10. So one, two, three, four, then one, two, on beat two. Then on beat three, we're gonna play the 10th fret of the fourth string, and then the eighth fret on the second string. So now we've got a string in between the notes. Then we're going to play the seventh fret of the fourth string and the sixth fret of the second string. Then we'll resolve to the fifth fret and the fifth fret on those same strings. So on the fourth string and second string. So you got this little da -da, very common blue sound. Here we're in the key of C, okay? And this is landing, if you know your C bar chord here, we're landing on just two notes right there out of the C bar chord shape. So And the rhythm is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and. So they're all, in the second measure, they're all quarter notes except for the last beat. So one, two, three, then four, and. So those are quicker. Now the first bar is a whole note. One, two, three, four. Of course, we have the grace notes. These are called grace notes where you just slide in. One, two, three, four. A one, two, three, four, and two, three, four. One, two, 
three, four. So that's it. So it's it's really a four bar figure. So we've got the first measure, then the second measure, one, two, three, four, and then the third measure, and then in the fourth measure, a want, you just rest. Okay, so this, if it's four bars long and your 12 bar blues is 12 bars total, we're gonna play this three times over the 12 bar blues. So every four bars, it's gonna restart. So let's try it together. We're gonna start with that slide and we'll go through the blues form. Now I'm gonna bring in the chords here with a looper pedal and this is playing the rhythm that I'm gonna explain next so you'll have both parts. Here we go, a one, two, three, four. Last time, here we go. And end on C, you know. So that's the vocal interlude. So from there we go into the rhythm and that's where Freddie comes in singing, packed up and left me. And we've got 12 bar blues rhythm here. So that's gonna go like this. A one, two, three, four. All right, so I'm using three chord shapes here, and I am using some thumb chords, but I'll show you some ways to substitute those for more common chords. But if you can get the thumb chords, if you've followed any of my videos, you know that I'm using the thumb all the time. So that's just a normal thing for me, but it's not for everybody. So, you know, I'll show you those variations as well. So here's the deal. C7 is the first chord we need, and that is like a C chord but we're gonna make it a dominant seven, so we're gonna add our pinky to the third fret of the third string. Now, I'm not playing any open strings with that. You could play the high E, but I think it sounds good for what I call this just swinging Freddie Green rhythm where you're just going one, two, three, four, and you're playing quarter notes. And I'm, I'm releasing the pressure here. I don't really want any open strings because I can control the chord this way. From there, we're gonna go to F7. Now the chord that I play is my thumb on the low E, and then I make, it looks like a D chord, right? Like this, but it's just shifted over here. I'm on the fourth string. One, two, one. So that's what I'm playing, no open strings. Now you could play, easier version, uh, you know, if you're not using the thumb. To me, it's actually harder to do this, but, but this would be just your typical F7 bar chord, you know? One, three, one. Two, one, one. So you could use that or I use this. Now, for the last chord, G7, you just bring it up two frets. And I just bring the thumb chord up two frets like this. So it's the same concept, you know, whether you're using this or this. So in the first four bars, we're gonna play one bar of C, then go to one bar of F, then back to two bars of C. This is a very common blues chord progression. These are things that I teach in my Essential Blues Guitar System course. You know, this is something called a quick four chord, where you go from C to F and then back to C. You know, we're in the key of C, so this would be the one chord to the four chord, back to the one chord. Then we go to F for two bars, then back to C7, two bars. Okay, that's the first eight. Now the last four bars, we're gonna go G7 for one bar, then F7 for one bar, then C7 for one bar. So the chords are moving a little quicker there. Then in the last bar, we have two chords. We go one and two and we go C to G7. All right, so let's put all that together. A one, two, ready, play. C to F, back to C. Go to F, back to C. 
G7, F7, C7, and we'll do the quick G here, one and two, and on C. So that first part is a great example of just taking a riff through the blues. You'll notice how the vocal interlude, that riff there stays the same, but the chords move. So no matter what chord you're on, you're still playing that same riff, which is something you see in a lot of blues tunes. Then from there you go into just what I actually call a Freddie Green style rhythm, not F Freddie King, but Freddie Green, which is just a straight four kind of comping rhythm that you can use for tons of blues songs. So be sure to rewind the video and go over any parts that are unclear. And to help you even more, make sure to pick up my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is gonna show you the five chords and scales that I use to map out the entire fretboard and it's so useful. I want to give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. Next, I want to hear from you. Leave a comment down below and let me know what your number one struggle with guitar is right now. Just comment it down below so I can make some future videos here on the channel helping you out. As always, thanks for your support with the videos and we'll see you in another one real soon.